Hello friends, this is Annette of AnnetteLeonard.com. Thank you very much for being here. We are back again with another moment for chronic wellness. Continuing our conversation about sex and chronic illness. And one of the things that I struggle a lot with is how to even initiate sex on the days when I do feel good enough to have sex. And for me, my pain gets worse as the day goes on. And I don't know about you, but um, the morning when I wake up and uh, realize after doing a body scan that this is a lower pain day or a day where breathing is easier or a day where each of these different factors that I'm taking into account are easier enough that I might consider today's the day we could have sex, um, then the task might fall to me to initiate. And how I go about doing that is not as simple as it once was. You know, A, it's uh, not the evening, so it's not necessarily a time of day where mm, it feels sexy because the lights are low and we've just shared a nice dinner and it's time for bed already. And for me, um, Getting, having sex requires doing things like turning on my oxygen concentrator, which folks, if you're not familiar with what an oxygen concentrator sounds like, go turn on Star Wars because it sounds like Darth Vader and there is nothing about that says, hey, get in the mood. <laughs> That's just a not sexy sound. And then there's like lock the dogs out and start to pile the pillows up because they need to be in just a certain way to support my hips. And, and the, you know, all of those things compound to the point where um, this doesn't feel like foreplay. It feels like we're getting ready for a medical procedure and who's in the mood now? right? This is a difficult one to overcome. And uh, in the first of my series on long-term relationships, I talked about the importance of communication. And, you know, I uh, like to talk, as you may have noticed since you're here listening. But man, no matter how much we talk about this one or how much we say, like, here's the way I'll give you some signals or, you know, here's when we might know that it's a good enough day or I'm going to turn on my oxygen and you meet me in the bed. Like, nothing about that feels sexy. Um, so even on the days when it feels good enough, it's hard to have it feel good enough. How about you? <laughs> Tell me how you set the scene. Tell me if you have tips for um, letting your partner know that today's a good enough day to attempt some intimacy. Thanks for being here. Thanks for your time and attention. I don't take them lightly. I do appreciate them. And if you appreciate hearing from me, I'd be so grateful if you'd leave a comment or a thumbs up or subscribe. And until we're together again, be well.